What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, JRY, back again with another video. I just want to say thank you for all the support, for all the subscribes and likes and comments on my latest videos. It's because of viewers like you all that I continue to bring content your way. So if you haven't already, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I release the latest sports and trading card videos. Happy July 4th, United States of America. I'm proud to be an American today because it's Independence Day. I just want to say thank you to all the veterans out there. And as always, please be safe and have fun celebrating tonight with family and friends. In today's video, I'll be showcasing the special delivery July 4th Mail Day review, where I'll be revealing all the sports cards that I got in the month of July. So without no further ado, let's jump in the video. All right, everyone, to start off the special delivery July 4th Mail Day Episode 7, we've got the 2018 rookie card of Trey Young. This is his Don Ross Optic Rated Rookie. Trey Young currently plays for the Atlanta Hawks and he dazzled us in the Eastern Conference playoffs, but ultimately losing to the Milwaukee Bucks in the Eastern Conference Finals. But no matter what, Trey Young has cemented himself as one of the key superstars of the NBA. Looking forward to him to make some noise next year. Up next, we've got none other than your Kia Rookie of the Year for the NBA 2020-2021 season, LaMelo Ball. This is his rookie card for the Panini Prism 2020-2021. The number three pick to the Charlotte Hornets, the point guard himself, the floor general, and one of my favorite players, LaMelo Ball is an exciting young talent. And he is your Rookie of the Year and my favorite rookie for this season. Up next, we've got the best player in baseball because stats don't lie. Mr. Showtime himself, Shohei Otani, playing for the Angels in the American League. This is his top rookie card, 35th anniversary from the silver promo set. Shohei Otani is the best two-way player right now. None of the lights that we've seen since Babe Ruth, 100 years in the making. He plays as a pitcher and a designated hitter. Currently, he's leading the MLB with 30 home runs, as well as pitching at an ERA of under 2.6, as well top three in RBIs and top three or five in stolen bases. Shohei Otani is basically a created player in the MLB show game where you just put 99 to 100 in all the stats and that's what you get. Shohei Otani is a video game. This is card number 51 and this is showcasing him in his throwing pitching Up next, we've got the other variation of Shohei Otani's Topps 35th Anniversary Rookie Card Silver Pack Promo. This is showcasing him in his batting variation action shot. Like I said, Shohei Otani is a monster, just hitting 500 foot bombs and throwing at 100 miles an hour as a pitcher for his fastball. This guy's got the whole package, man. This is card number 145 from that set. Beautiful card. The camera does no justice. And here is another rookie card for Shohei Otani. This is his Bowman Chrome rookie card. His rookie cards are from the 2018 season. Shohei Otani. This is card number one. Like I said, an amazing complete player can do everything. Like I said, my favorite player since Ken Griffey Jr. The only player in existence to have ever done anything like this was Babe Ruth at such a high level and Shohei Otani is just breaking so many records. Up next, we've got the 
rookie card of Josh Sargent. This is from the Don Ross base paper rated rookie set. Josh Sargent currently plays for the United States as a forward, center forward, and is a part of the U.S. men's national team. And it's a special day today for Independence Day because I wanted to represent some of the U.S. players. And this is a rookie card of his. Currently, he's playing overseas in the German Bundesliga. But right now, Josh Sargent was very key in winning the CONCACAF Cup. CONCACAF for the U.S. men's as they beat Mexico in that thriller final last month. Up next, we've got Timothy Weah playing for Lille, and they won the France League One title, being the number one team with the number one record, and he represents the U.S. He was very key in that win versus Mexico. Timothy Weah, a very good player for the national men's team for the U.S. Really awesome card of his. This is the 2018 Don Ross rated rookie rookie card and up next we've got Weston McKinney a midfielder for Juventus they won the Italian Cup this year and he represents the U.S. when playing internationally like I said he was very key just like the other two players in the CONCACAF finals versus Mexico scoring that header in that game, Weston McKinney is an amazing player. This is his rated rookie 2018 Don Ross paper rookie card. And here we've got arguably the best U.S. men's national team player, Giovanni Reyna. This is the 2020 Topps BVB curated rookie card. I love this design. It's all black, showcasing him in his Borussia Dortmund kit. This is card number 15. This card set was basically only for the Borussia Dortmund players, and this was the very first card that showcased Giovanni Reyna as a Borussia Dortmund player. And very, very beautiful card. And like I said, very key in that CONCACAF finals versus Mexico scoring one of the goals I believe he's one of the best U.S. men's player right next to Christian Pulisic and here we've got the rookie card of Giovanni Reyna this is the tops living set from the 2020 season these cards were only online only and has a very limited short print run of a few thousand only and it's a really cool drawing and illustration of Giovanni Reyna. And it looks very, very nice. Very nicely drawn as well. So, really cool set. And this is his Ricky card from the Tops Living set. And here we have one of the cards that I've been chasing for a long, long time. This is Erling Holland's Tops Finest 2019 Champions League base card and this is his rookie card showcasing him in his Red Bull Salzburg kit. This was the team right before he transferred over to Borussia Dortmund. This is him playing for that team. Uh, it's an Austrian team. They won the Austrian Cup and this was his first time in the Champions League. That's why he is in this card set and this is regarded as one of his true rookies because it's one of his earliest cards showcasing him in his Red Bull outfit. I got this card for under comps for about $150 when recently these cards were selling for about 500 ungraded. And if you were to get this in a really nice graded PSA, these are worth $1,000 on of. So really nice to pick this one up for under comps. I was super lucky. Really, really awesome rookie card for Erling Holland. And lastly, to end the show for episode 7 of the July 4th special delivery mail day, 
we've got one of the cards that I've been chasing for a while as well. The 2017 Topps Chrome UEFA Champions League. Kylian Mbappe. This is a PSA near mint to mint condition. This is regarded as one of his rookie cards because this is one of the earliest cards to have seen Kylian Mbappe in a top brand set like Topps. This is showcasing him in his PSG kit. This is the first year that Topps Chrome came out. So this is what you could say the first time that you know he would have been showcased in a Topps Chrome. And Kylian Mbappe is an amazing player. Unfortunately, they lost in the Euros during the penalty shootout and he missed the final fifth shot. But nonetheless, Kylian Mbappe can bounce back. He's only 22 years old, 23 around there. Already has won the World Cup and France is such a strong team. Hopefully they can rebound and come back for the 2022 World Cup and defend their title. And this is an amazing, beautiful card for Kylian Mbappe. I was able to pick this one up also for under comps for around $105. Recently, this sold as a PSA 8 couple couple months ago for around three to five hundred dollars so to pick this up for around hundred is really amazing as the ungraded version of this card already sells for around two hundred to three hundred dollars ungraded so I was like the chances of getting an ungraded card to be an eight or above is already rare as cost to actually get this graded is so expensive right now to pay $200 or $300 for Express and Super Express, it's kind of ridiculous for a card. So to get this at a really good value under comps was an amazing find and steal for me as this is one of my chase cards this whole summer to get. This is Kylian Mbappe's 2017 Topps Chrome PSA 8. All right, so that wraps it up for the special delivery mail day episode seven for july 4th all right everyone thank you for watching me if you enjoy videos like this please smash that like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified whenever i release future sports or trading card videos and until next time take care peace out and i'll catch you later